Add a bit of whimsy to otherwise ordinary journaling using the type tool in a spiral shape. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add interest to your journaling by adding type to a spiral shape. This video is being filmed in expert mode of Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Photoshop except where noted. I've already opened a new 12 by 12 inch document and pressed the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. We'll start by adding the spiral shape to our document. Get the custom shape tool. It's nestled with the other shape tools. And then next, open the tool options. The tool options for this tool are very different in Photoshop. So if you're a Photoshop user, consult the manual for complete tool option setting. Open the shape picker, open the drop down menu, and choose ornaments. Choose the spiral shape. If you don't see the names of the shapes, click on the flyout menu and choose large list. Click on the color chip and choose a medium gray. Open the geometry options and choose unconstrained. Click on the new shape layer and if applicable, set the style to none. On the document, hold down the shift key and click and drag out a spiral shape that's about three inches in height. To reposition while dragging, press and hold the spacebar. Next, we're gonna add a type layer. So get the horizontal type tool and in the tool options, open the font picker and choose a journaling font. I'm going to use Myriad Pro Regular. Keep in mind that this technique should only be used for journaling. And because of this, a journaling font with the size of 12 to 14 points should be used. When choosing a font, it's best to use print style journaling fonts or fonts that are handwritten print. Because the type is on a curve, you'll want to avoid script fonts decorative fonts, or fonts that are in all caps. Set the size to 14, set the letting to auto and the tracking to zero. Photoshop users will find the letting and tracking in the character panel. Click on the left align icon and then click on the color chip and choose black. Back on the document, press Control plus, Command plus on a Mac four or five times to zoom into the center of the spiral. To reposition the zoom, hold down the space bar and click and drag on the document. This technique actually uses the outline and travels along it. It does not look at the inside filled in area of the shape. On the document, hover your cursor over the right side of the innermost part of the spiral until you see the type on a path icon. That's the eye beam with the wavy line going through it. Click one time to place the cursor and then press Control minus Command minus on a Mac once or twice to zoom out from the image enough to see the entire shape. You may or may not see placeholder text after placing the cursor. Either way, type your journaling. You'll want to type the journaling until it fills the spiral shape without going over. To use a single word, type the word over and over with a space in between each word until the word fills the spiral shape without going over. I'm going to use the phrase, happy birthday. I'm going to repeat this phrase to fill my spiral shape without going over. It's okay if the type stops short of the end of the shape. We won't actually be able to see the spiral shape in the end. It's more important not to go over the end of the shape because type will wrap over it and it won't look very pleasing. It'll be crowded, something like this here. See how it begins to wrap around the edge? If that happens, press the backspace key or the delete key on a Mac to get back to a place that you can stop. Different fonts will produce varied results. You may need to adjust the font size by one or two points as needed to accommodate the font you choose. Once you've added the type and have it like you want it, click the check mark to commit the type. In the Layers panel, click on the visibility icon of the shape layer to hide it. The type path will remain visible even after you hide the spiral shape, but it will disappear when working on other layers and it will not appear on your printed page. For instructions on how to change the words of the journaling, how to change the font, how to change the font size, the tracking, or even how to rotate the journaling, please refer to the manual. Lastly, you'll want to add photos, a title, 
a date, and some elements to finish your page. And then save the document as a layered PSD file with a unique name. Here's what my finished page looks like. The spiral shape technique was a fun way for me to add the chorus from our song to my page. I love how easy it was to convey the birthday message on this card in a fun way using the same technique. I used dots to add visual interest and draw the eye into the starting place. And on this card, I used the suit icons font to create my spiral shape type, and then I rotated it and placed it on my card as an anchor behind the message. There really are so many possibilities using this technique. I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. This has been Gina Harper with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.